can the Niners not do against the Chiefs? The Niners cannot fall behind at all. The Niners have to either be within three, seven, which would not be ideal, but they cannot be at a point where we saw Baltimore where Spagnuolo is playing out of his mind. He's got corners, and he can shut down any sort of criminal passing game, and he disguises things, and he makes things very difficult. Lamar, who was the MVP of the league, was like frozen. He had all – he would, couldn't do anything in that championship game. Mm-mm. And I think the 49ers have to not be in third and long, but they got to, they got to, you know, I know it sounds simple, but Grant, for the love of God, just toss it to the left, play, do what Harbaugh does. Stop me until you can stop me. Don't get too smart. You have the best left tackle. You have a great blocking tight end. Run it down their throats. And just control the ball. Make Kansas City lose a possession, basically. Do what and here's the other thing that's so if you're an optimistic guy, Kansas City's lost to Green Bay already this year. And Green Bay was committed to running the ball during that game. And I know the the game was back and forth, but Green Bay controlled the clock and Green Bay very much so did it on the perimeter. And the Bills did the same thing. The one of the reasons why the the 49ers lost 2019 is that they didn't run enough jet sweeps with Debo, which when they did, it was working. For some reason, they forgot to use their best play that Super Bowl. And if they had just done that maybe four or five more times, the Chiefs would have lost the possession. And I think that's the thing because I think the Chiefs right now are executing – Mm-hmm. So good is that what's more likely them not executing or you taking away a play or, or a possession to me, eat up the clock and take away a possession. Yeah. I, to me, that's I, I your see a lot of, I don't see, I expect to see a lot of under center in this game. The Niners offensive line can't really compete with the East defensive line. And whenever there's a clear disadvantage there, Kyle Shanahan usually puts Brock in the pistol or the shotgun. And I expect to see a lot of quick passes, RPOs, extended handoffs, and handoffs. Because why do more than that? I think you could win that way. Just flipping the ball to the, I mean, RPOs in general, either hand off to McCaffrey or flip it to Debo Samuel on the the outside. Like, you're not going to turn the ball over that way. And you are going to get big plays that way. Getting the ball to Brandon Ayuk is going to be way harder. He's going against some of the best corners in the league. He, you have to, block it long enough for him to get open. Man, just get the ball out of Brock Purdy's hands immediately and see how far you go with that. Because it seemed like the Ravens weren't doing that. It was Lamar Jackson, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, make a play, make a he play. He had make rushing play. lanes. Like, like you said, if Brock has those lanes run because Lamar did. He had clear yeah. rushing lanes he just turned down. And I don't know why. Maybe he wanted to win a certain way, but to me, win a win's a win. You're not getting any style points, right? I mean – he he left a yard of a lot of yardage on that field. If you're the Ravens, you got to be pulling your hair out because if you look back on the film, there was no one 10, 10 yards around Lamar. And when have we not seen him pick up 20, 30 yards like that? He may have done it once or twice the whole game. And they only ran the ball six times with their running backs, which was another crazy thing. Like, what was Baltimore thinking? Well, Todd Munkin's not that good. Yeah, you know, it's funny how when the the other thing that I the, the other thing the 49ers can't do, and I think Kyle needs to, and maybe this will be the next subject with 24, is that Kyle can't play tight. Kyle's got to be going. He can't get in his head, keep things simple, and do things that are your strength. Don't get too cute. Don't overthink it. Do what has gotten you there. Right? And and I think sometimes Kyle in big moments gets ultra conservative and it plays into the hands of the defense. And I think he's going to have to know when to do that. And when, like, for example, you may want to drive down the field when you have 30 or 45 seconds, you did in the last Super Bowl, and you did, and you got a penalty, unfortunately, but better clock management. (laughs) That's a, that's going to be key because Andy has a little bit of bad clock management as well. He gets bailed out by Mahomes. 
But Andy's got the same, Andy had the same issues that Kyle had for the longest time as an Eagle coach. If People may not remember that, but Andy was really bad at game management. You know what would be really interesting if the Niners have another lead in this game? Yeah, everyone's going to be thinking the same thing. What's Kyle going to do with this, man? <laughs> you find a way to... It's going to be 28 to 3, and we're all going to be like, no. It doesn't you know? matter what the lead is. I, I don't expect them to be up 25 at any point, but whatever they're up, if they're up in this game, people are going to be thinking the same thing. So Kyle needs to like, how are you going to close the deal if you're in that position? What's your four-minute offense going to be like? What's your second-half offense going to be like? How are you – you have – you. <laughs> You have this great running game. Are you going to commit to it with a lead? Or are you going to forget Debo, forget McCaffrey? Like you've done this so many times. Because if you do it again, if you blow another Super Bowl lead and lose, people aren't good. People are going to say you're cursed. Grant, cursed. They went down against the Rams without using Debo, Debo that year. And Debo was the best offensive player was the best player on that field. And I saw McVay ride Cooper Cup all the way to a Super Bowl. Everyone knew it was going to Cooper Cup. Guess what? It still went to Cooper Cup. And guess what? More often than not, good things happen. If I'm Kyle, man, I ride Christian McCaffrey and I ride Debo until till, till I can't anymore. And you know what? More often than not, they've delivered. Don't overthink it. Just, just. Do what has gotten you there. That would be my advice. The 49ers, and, and I know Kyle would be like, well, he was wide open. But if you don't go down with your best players now, when are you ever going to again? You said something earlier in the show I agreed with. Um, it's not going to be a low-scoring game. NFL doesn't want low-scoring Pro Bowl, uh, Pro, uh, Super Bowls. That's another, yep. The Niners defense really hasn't played well in, in a while. I mean, it's best. Gave up 31 to Detroit, 33 to Baltimore, and 29 to Arizona. They would have given up more to the Green Bay Packers if it wasn't for the rain. For Same the way. rain, agree. That, that at least left off seven up. points. I agree with that. For so both. now you got the Chiefs who haven't been scoring a ton of points. They've been running the ball a lot, taking the air out of the ball. But it's Mahomes. It's the Super Bowl. I think it's going to be a really high-scoring game. I don't expect the Niners' defense to put up much resistance. And I think this is going to come down to Brock and McCaffrey. And Kyle and all those guys and Philadelphia they're going up against a really good defense. defense they're going up against a really good defense. Scored thirty plus on them. Yeah, right? and there were not very many. Uh, there are a lot of defensive holding penalties. There wasn't very little on offense that was holding these defenses back. You have to remember the 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 Super Bowl is brings in millions of people that typically do not watch one second of football. And it's a showcase to the NFL. They want to have good ratings. They want to mm -hmm. reap the benefits. They want a 28, 24, 35, 31 game. To them, that's ideal. They do not want a 10 to 3 or 10 to 13 game. And, and that means that the offensive calls, the defensive holding, all that's going to come into play a lot more this game. So to me whatever team gets up front is going to have that advantage. You know what I would do if I were the Chiefs? Quality control for the Chiefs right now. So um, 13 personnel, get the Niners in that 5-D line, that 5-man front, and then go no huddle. Not hurry up, but no huddle. Like you, we, We're going to stay in this personnel grouping all drive, and we're going to do this a while. And by the fourth quarter, you're done, exhausted. What did Kyle say the key to the game was defensive line stamina? Oh, yeah. That's the thing about the Chiefs is they exhaust you. Patrick Mahomes extends every freaking play. The, the plays last forever. By the end of the game, it's just – we saw it in the, in the Super Bowl four years ago. It's just – you're done. You can't take any plays off because he's going to do something. You're like, I didn't even know the ball was going to go there. Right? And so, yeah, yeah. I, I Like I said, the 49ers have to steal a possession, not for their offense, but to protect their defense the 49ers have to do the same thing on the other side is run the ball and take away a possession from the chiefs. Yeah. And hope to God that it's not tied or they're down by three or they have to run out the clock. Cause the chiefs will run out the clock on them. They will scheme open a receiver. They will do something to put someone in conflict and they will bleed the clock. Whatever team 
can get the ball last and control and dictate, I think we'll either run out the clock or win the game. You know, it's a simple. It's gonna be that. interesting to see if both team, like both, de- you could argue both defensive coordinators going to come out with the eight man box. Niners and Chiefs. Like, you can't let Pacheco beat you. You can't let Christian McCaffrey beat you. All right. Which quarterback's going to make you pay? And you'd think, oh, Mahomes. Well, Brock has much better weapons. But, That's the thing. He does. Yeah, he does. But if you just go player Mahomes by player. Mahomes has much better protection. If you go player by player, well, he has much better protection because their tackles lead the league in holding penalties. Um if you go player by player, Grant, that's the other reason why they're favored is that this is a mismatch. They're fa- they have better players on every level than the Chiefs, with the exception of probably cornerback, right? And the exception of, you know, to me, tight end's probably a wash. But in all the other key marquee matchups, they've got better linebackers, the Niners do. They've got better offensive tackle you know they've got a better left tackle so to speak i don't know offensive lineman all together but position wise you get my drift like do they have someone that's as just as good as Ayuk right now no they don't mm-hmm. rice is a rookie and he'll get there eventually but i would take brandon Ayuk over rice would you right would you uh, take, no question would you take mccaffrey over pacheco yes but pacheco is um really good he's good but he's not the offensive player of the league right no and but it, 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 he's like, so good for the Chiefs, man. Yes, he's yes. perfect for them. Because, yes. like, the one thing you say, like, okay, McCaffrey's more explosive than Pacheco, right? He's more explosive. Yeah, McCaffrey can go for 80 yards. But, but they don't need, like, Mahomes can go for 80 yards with his arm, so they just need a running back to keep him ahead of the chains, which he does so well. But, yeah, I mean, he's not McCaffrey. Agreed. And the other thing that I wanted to mention, if we're – there yet is the the 24 the magic rule of 24 yeah 24 every single time kyle has scored at least 24 points in the playoffs they have won every single game to me 24 is the magic number for the 49ers because they're undefeated when they score 24 points and look at this season most of their games when they lose they only score 17 19 mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right they scored you know that more 20 i forgot what the green bay packer score was it was 27 24 something like mm-hmm. that right and then 31 34 against detroit to me they have to score at least the mindset should be a race for both teams actually whoever can get to 24 is probably going to win the game that's the magic number is 24 because the 49ers then if you think about it will have three long, sustained drives where they've scored and a field goal, right? So that's that's typically enough, and anything else is bonus, right? So they've got to score that many. In the Super Bowl where they lost, they only scored 21 or 20, right? Against the Rams, they did not score even, I think it was 20, maybe 20, 17. I can't remember what it was, but it was not 24 points. How are they going to disagree score? with you here, man? I love you. I got to disagree with you. I don't think 24 is getting it done in the Super Bowl. Oh, see, so so this is where we disagree is that you are putting too much. You're put, you think Patrick Mahomes can score more than 24 points. And I'm telling you, based off this season, they cannot. They can execute really well. But I think the final score will be the team that has 24 points. Nah, Whoever gets the 24 first is going to win the game. Well, I think Vegas, both teams are going to be in the, the 30s. Over, what's the over-under on the game right now? What's You're right. It's right where you say, but I disagree yeah. with it. I think this is going to be in the 30s just like last year's. And like you said, they don't want defense in the in the, in the the Super Bowl. There's going to be a lot of penalties. There's going to be a lot of uh, offense in this game, I think. And I don't think 24 is getting it done. I think both teams are getting in the 30s. I don't trust the Niners defense. So let me take that back. So this is where we can meet. I think the first team that gets to 24. First team that gets. 24 okay first team that gets right. to 24 will win okay first team that gets to 24 right. because they, think they, will, they will be able to dictate the rest of the game either the 49ers will go very run heavy right and then they can be a little bit more aggressive on defense or the 49ers are gonna be on their heels and the chiefs can play really exotic coverages and put brock in a bind yeah yeah so you're picking the Niners. I am. I, I mean, I am. 24-23? Uh, 
No, uh, 2417. 2417. 2417. What about the Niners defense gives you that much confidence right now? Uh, two things. One that I know the rain game was an outlier, but they get, you know, they have this mini bye week, right. Where they're not struggling of going up against that. It gives Eric Armstead another week of quote unquote rest. Uh, typically them coming off has been good for them more often than not. And I think there's such hyper focus on them right now. Cause they've been, because the national media, because everyone sees those plays where they weren't putting in effort that I think to a lot of 49er defensive players, this is like a legacy game. Like they need to put their stamp, like we're a defensive team, mm-hmm. we're always a defensive team. We're going to go down swinging. And to me, the chiefs are not what they were before. This isn't the 2019 chiefs. They have two or three offensive weapons. Grant They've been, they've been shut out. And, and halves multiple times this year where they haven't scored at all. Think about in, how insane that is when you have Patrick Mahomes as your quarterback and you've been shut out more than three or four times, including the championship game on offense. That means they have to execute. I'm just going by the numbers, meaning that if it's not schemed up and executed correctly, they're not scoring. It's just like Kyle, right? He doesn't have – the thing that Brock has that Mahomes doesn't have, he's got all pro receivers and tight ends and Mahomes doesn't, he's got one pro bowl tight end who's on the decline and everyone else is a okay player. I think what's so interesting about this chiefs team is they've sort of um, evolved into a running team. It's almost like, like the Broncos. They like the Broncos the at the end of the John Elway, like all of a sudden, it, it, it's like it is Mahomes' team, but it's much more about Pacheco and the defense. They're like they're like the, the the Niners from four years ago. It's a defense and running team with a great quarterback, a great quarterback, and 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 his trusty tight end. But other than that, they're kind of making it up as they go along, and it's working for them now. Uh, but yeah, like if you want to stop this team, like it's it, you got to have a real plan for Pacheco. Otherwise you'll lose. So Grant, I, the, they played Miami in below windshield temperatures when Miami had a mass unit on defense. Right. And then they played against Buffalo and they had a mass unit on defense and everyone was injured on Buffalo's team coming into that game. Granted they, they went on the road in Buffalo and granted that, Mahomes was able to make plays, but it's not like it was pretty and he was gunning it out there. And that wasn't the case either. And frankly, if you watch that championship game, the Ravens made adjustments at halftime. Their defense did. They pitched a shutout. If the 49ers lose this game and their defense only gives up 17 points, that's on you, Kyle. You didn't come to work. You you didn't you did not put your offensive players in the best position and the 49ers, I'm just going by the numbers. They've typically when they've lost, it's always been on Kyle in the offense. It's never been on the defense. The defense has held its bargain. It's the it's been the 49ers on offense that haven't executed. Yeah, but in the Super Bowl four years ago, they also gave up 31. That's the thing. Like Last they give up 31, but that was a 44 to the Chiefs in October of 2022. That team didn't have Tyreek. That team no. had Pacheco and freaking they did, Juju Smith Schuster. They had a few other, they, but, the, but you they also had a Jerick McKinnon. Line. They had Jerick McKinnon, man. Jared McKinnon. Game changer. If, if that's uh, so, here's the other thing that they really miss McKinnon because. Who utilizes their third round, third down back more than the Chiefs? I mean, McKinnon was everything they wanted McCaffrey to be a few years ago for them, ironically. I mean, he's a great third down back. He can, he made something out of nothing. He destroyed the 49ers during that when they played that week. That was a McKinnon game. I mean, he he scored like a 40 yard, like what? Like it was a pitch or whatever it was. Mahomes just threw it. We've always known that Derek McKinnon. Is the MVP of the 40 of the Chiefs offense? He's hey man, just shut it down. I'm telling you, it's all about Pacheco. 
But it, this is all about Pacheco. When you ask the Niners, like, hey, so what makes this uh, Chiefs run game good? They're like, Pacheco, he's great. He runs really hard no matter what. Like, yeah, I would have to say so. He's really good. I Has the defensive effort been overblown, or do you think that there's a level of embarrassment, or they're just saying that to cover up a lack of talent, Grant? That's always in my, I, I don't know. Like, I'm not there. The vibe in the building. Because to me, it's a little bit of both. <laughs> I don't think they're as talented as they were. They've lost Hofunga. They lost a lot of their good tackling people. They lost a lot of, they lost uh, Aziz. They lost Ward. They they don't have those players that were really good at getting down and dirty at the run game anymore. I don't think it's an effort thing. I think it's a, talent thing maybe it's just me well to me though run defense is effort and you see which guys are willing to put the effort in like samson ebukam was willing to put the effort in cleveland farrell was willing to put the effort in uh uh chase young not so much i don't understand how you could be at that stage and not put an effort like that has to be because i saw him give effort and he blew up a lot of plays and i'm like where was this in the first half like i know it's in you but it, it was it, crazy he's only 24 years old like he's still really young but he's not what they thought they were getting at all oh uh, it shows you why washington was able to, it shows you why they got so much more for the other guy that went to the bears versus chase 